Hi, this is Mr. Dang. I'm pleased to announce that my solitaire tutorials are ready, and you can follow along with me by watching a video each day, starting with today's video on setting up your tables for your own solitaire app. Enjoy. Welcome to some project-based learning. Here, you'll learn how to set up your tables in Microsoft Excel, Google Sheets, or wherever you create your tables. I'll be starting with a blank spreadsheet. This first table is going to include all of the cards inside a regular 52 card deck. At the top, I have columns for ID, number, suit, and color. In the ID column, this is going to identify the specific card. It's going to be used for identifying which card is which. In the number column, it's going to determine the value of the card from two to 10. I drag down the column to auto number, jack, queen, king, and ace. The suit, I like to use the order that I remember from hearts. So I start with clovers or clubs. I press window semicolon to pull up the emoji. I type in club and select it. I'll fill down. And the color column is going to be used to determine what color a card is in the actual app. And in order for Power Apps to detect this as a table, I need to format this as a table. I like the color green. The column looks better centered but it doesn't make a difference in Power Apps. Next, I'm going to copy the values so that I have four different suits, hearts, diamonds, and spades, and clubs, that each have the same value. Again, I'm going to be pulling up the emoji shortcut. I'll type in diamond. I will copy that and fill down. I'll do the same for spades. I'll copy that and fill it down. And finally, I'll repeat that for hearts. I'll copy it and fill down. I'll finish up the final column for the color. My table needs one more thing. I'll give it a name cards. Before I continue, I'd like to save this document so I don't lose my progress. I could save this as a connected data source in Dropbox, but I'm actually going to connect it as static data since cards aren't going to change. My deck of playing cards is ready. The next table is going to give instructions to the app on how to set up Solitaire. It has seven total columns. Column one has one card, column two has two, three has three, and so on, until I get to column six, which has six cards, and column seven, which has seven cards. The column show is going to take a Boolean value of true or false. True meaning the card is visible. False means the card is hidden until uh, the player actually opens it. I'll copy false to all the slots where the card is going to be hidden, and I'll copy true for the single card on the top of each column uh, that's going to be visible to the player. I'll format this table so that Power Apps can detect it. I could center it if I'd like, and I'm going to give it a name so that I recognize it in Power Apps. This one's going to be called Setup. I'll also rename this tab so that I remember what it is. The third and final table is going to be the rules of Solitaire. It's going to tell me which card can connect to which card. The columns include order, number, and connect. Order is numbers 1 through 13 because there are 13 different values. Number is going to be the different values that are possible, 2 through 10, jack, queen, king, ace. And connect is what it connects to. The card 2 connects to an ace, the card 3 connects to 2, and so on. I'm going to fill this down. Queen connects to jack, king connects to queen, and ace I'm going to leave blank. I'll also format this as a table. I'll center it for styling.
and then I'll name the table Rules. Next, I open up Power Apps. I'll start a blank tablet app. Click View, Data Sources. I'm going to add the three tables as static data. I'll locate my file, select my three tables, and I'm ready to create my app. Before you continue with Solitaire, be sure to set up a debugging panel by watching this video that I've already set up. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe so you can see the next video on building your Solitaire app.